Okay, well, I did this live video once already on my personal page. I thought I was going to be able to share it over into my machine knitting group page, but alas, I was not. So this is uh, the binding bar gate peg hack for knitting machines version 2. The good news is for version 2 is I remember the name of these. <laughs> I couldn't remember the name of them in the first video, but I bought these back in January 2020. I got 20 pieces for $4.99. They are, and I bought them off of Amazon. This is not an advertisement for Amazon, but they are still available on Amazon, but like everything else, the price has gone up since January 2020. They are now, you can get them for now somewhere between 7 and $10 off of Amazon, but I'm sure you can also get them from a number of other places as well. But, um, so what I want to do, so for those of you with little ones, curious little ones running around, toddlers, um, our gate pegs, and knitting machines in general can be hazardous for people of that age because people of that age are extremely curious, want to touch everything and get up real close because their eyes work real good up close without glasses. <laughs> they want to get up real close and look at everything, but then the hazard is their clothing or their hair can get stuck and then you end up with a screaming child or something worse. So um, um, I decided that I would show... Uh, a solution for that and okay the ultimate solution is put your machine away we're not using it okay I've done that because I raised a lot of kids the, that is a good solution over the years I would take them out do a project put them away but I only took them out maybe a couple times over the years so the hazard of putting your machines away when you're not using them is they may stay away for many years as many of you have experienced because that happened to me as well so instead, some of my friends don't want to put their machines away, and I don't blame them. But they have these little toddlers running around. And so um, I suggest, you know, you cover your machine, as we're all told to do. Like this, I, I, was, I got this for free. Somebody, it was used. Somebody gave it to me. It's a factory-made uh, free motion uh, quilt type thing. And I cut it apart to different sizes to cover all my machines when they're not used. But, you know, little ones can still get, you know, lift that up and, and look. And definitely cover your machine when you're not using it to keep the dust from going down in because dust and our oils equal cement for machines. So cover them um, to reduce that. So what you do is these report, uh, these binder bars, this, this particular ones I purchased to have the 40 page capacity. And I'm, I'm assuming it has something to do with the width of the top of the triangle. Because here's the split down here for holding your sheets of paper together, the documents, reports, such. And then I think that uh, this width probably dictates how many pages, of course, could go in there. But, and I don't know how important that is for a knitting machine, but that just happens to be what I have here. And so I, I want you to know everything. So what you do is slit side down kind of tilt it up to catch that first gate peg and then just keep pressure on it as you as you fish it across your machine bed like that and boom it's on your gate pegs are covered now of course the little one can very easily pull it off but hopefully they won't you know hopefully they won't and there might be a way you can secure it on there once it's on there temporarily secure it on there I don't know but this is a nice uh, solution and three of these you, know, you slide the next one on same way. You can leave your carriage on the machine, but you're going to have to remove your arm to uh, slide the third one on. But three of these, and this is your regular um, eight and a half by eleven sheet of paper binding bar. But three of these then go right across the machine very nicely. Now, I on this machine happen to be very fortunate to have um, my river cover for covering the gate pegs because. When you don't cover your gate pegs when you're not using your knitting machine, as some of you know, you get your sleeve caught on them. You can get your hair caught on them yourself, being the knitter, as I have done, because uh, I have long hair and I don't often pull it back. Um, so a solution, again, this is the only machine I have that has the, the original covers. And I've never purchased um, a used set because it costs more than what I want to spend. <laughs> you know, when I can cover my gate pegs, even on my river with something like this, it's very inexpensive because it is still just as effective as those covers, river covers. You can just slide this on, 
I didn't get this one completely on because I'm, I'm rushing because of the video. But let me see if I can do a better job. You have to keep pressure on that, that original peg so that it fishes all the way on. Oh, there you go. It's on. No, it's not. But we're just going to pretend it is. Same thing. Three the whole way across. Now you can knit up here if you don't have the river covers and have no problem getting caught. Your knitting won't get caught. Your clothing won't get caught. And your hair won't get caught on these. And it probably serves to also kind of guard everything away from the needles down here too when you're working on your bed. Thanks for watching.